Hello and welcome back. And in this section, we will cover client script within service now. So let's start the tutorial with the code. Okay. So according to the service now doc state, client script runs on a client web browser. You can use client script to define custom behavior that runs when event occur, such as when a form is loaded or submitted or cell change value. So as start stated, client script consists of JavaScript that runs the client side. Okay. The majority of the time you use client script on the form view. So when you are within an actual record on the form view, you might use client script for when a specific value changes or you like to manipulate another value. Okay. Client script are triggered by field change, page load, form submission, and cell edit. So within the list view, you can fire client script when specific ch cell changes as well. Client script are shipped to the browser. So you will write the, your code client script uh, with service now. And then when a specific form loads that has that client script, it will get shipped to the browser. And if it's triggered, by when a field changes okay so it will sit in the browser memory until that event occurs and then it will run this is an important distinction between because an additional request in response to the server does not need to be happen okay the client script is shipped to the browser when the initial page is loaded so the script logic runs almost in real time unless of course it contains additional calls from the server side. Now let's take a look at the form view. So uh, you can see on the right side, right? This is a form view of the client script. So this runs on the configuration item table, which is which is where we specify this is the table name, which is where we specify on which table it will execute. Okay. Below that, you can see the UI type. So there are three types of UI type, desktop, mobile, and all. So most preferable way is like key we use on both the side. So on, uh, we will select both so that it will work spontaneously on mobile and desktop as well. The third is a type. So in type, we'll get the type of the client script. There are four types of client script on load, on change, on submit, and on cell edit. So on load client script will work when the form loads. On change client script will work when certain field value changes. So for on change uh, type only, we'll get this field name. So here the next uh, column you can see. There you can define the field for which the on change action is to be performed. Then there is another which is on cell edit. On cell edit mainly works on the list view when we want to perform some validation or put some uh, client script conditions on the list view. And the fourth is on submit. So the on submit will work when you try to submit the form. Below that we have description. So in description you can define uh, what exactly this client script do. And we have a script field so in the script field you can define the javascript okay uh, so uh, you can write so when the caller uh, name caller changes we would like to run script and finally the script for you is down below here okay this is a web we put the actual javascript that runs within the browser it is important to note that we do in fact have an access to jquery in the script since this is running on the browser but it's not always recommended to manipulate the dom directly with jquery the best practice is to instead use the java service now provided api as and when available okay on the right side you can see the scope of the application then there is active inherited is like key if we check this checkbox then all the child table will also get this validation on the form and global is like when you want to work uh, run it as a global client script okay so let's have a look into some use cases 
so I will cover only few use cases few basic use cases just for the sake of understanding okay so uh, there are three use cases which I have taken into consideration the first is we will look into on node client script and we will define a simple validation that whenever the state is on hold we will give an info message that incident is on hold and the incident number the second is like key when the second use case is like key when the subcategory is changed to antivirus we will set the urgency field on the form to high okay and the third one is on submit we will restrict the submission of incident okay so we will be performing all kind of demos on incident form only so we will sub restrict the submission of incident when description is test so in, there is a field called description in description if it's written test then we will not allow it to submit okay so let's move to the demo so let's jump into the demo uh, most of you must be familiar to this UI okay which we have seen in the previous video also for the business route so this is the home page when we sign into the service now instance okay so you can route to this client script there are two ways for that one is like in the filter navigator you can simply type client script and boom you will get the client script over here under system definition and the other is through or from the for table or form okay so as we will be performing the all the demo actions on incident table let's route to the demo incident table so you can route it to incident table like incident and then you can see the incident module okay so i will go to the all incident okay which will give the list of all the incidents okay so on this incident module uh, i will take one incident for for the testing purpose okay so yeah i chose this one so how to go route to the incident table right uh, to the client script so you can simply right click on the list view okay configure and under configure you can go to the client script okay so let's go to one by one use case the first use case was like you want to display an info message at the top of the incident that the incident was created and we will it will give the incident number also in that info message okay so i will create click on new to create a new client script so you can see this is the form which i've already explained for the client script in the name we can give the name of the client script so i will give uh, demo demo on load as we will be testing the on load client script the table is already populated as we have created the record from the incident table okay in the ui type you get three options desktop mobile and all so i will select all type i will select on load for this example now you can see you can you got the signature over here okay so i'll be using a gform api which is service now provided provided api for client script so it's like g underscore form dot add so we want to add info message right so it's add info message and now in this you can see we can it takes only one attribute or uh, its message so we can give the message over here i will give simple message like is incident got created okay and i will give the incident number so again we will be using the same api g underscore form dot now we want to get some field value right so i'll give get value and then i will pass the field name of which i want to gain the value okay so it's number so i want to get the number of the incident okay that's it it's quite simple let's save it out and let's reload the form okay to see whether our magic is working or not okay and now boom on the incident form now you can see the info message which we are getting incident got created and we got the incident number okay let's move on to the next example i will close this off i will duplicate this tab okay and let's create the second use case was in terms of on change okay so what we want to do you can see a field called subcategory over here okay and in subcategory you can see a type uh, choice called antivirus so whenever we got an incident with a subcategory antivirus so we want to set the urgency to high okay quite simple so let's do it okay uh, i will i will right click configure 
I will go to the client script from the form and leave it. Now I will create a new client script. I will name it as demo on change. So here you can see the table name is already populated with incident. UI type I will give all type on cell on change. Whenever we give on change, right? So we get this field okay called field name on change of which field you want to perform the action so i will give subcategory over here you can scroll down it will give the list of all the fields on the table subcategory and the signature is quite different as you can see so in this signature we get old value and new value so the old value will be the you can call it as previous value and the new value is the latest value which you have updated on the form okay so what we want to do we want to compare the new value right so i will give if new value is equal to equal to it's a string right so i will give it the virus if it's antivirus then what we want to do again we'll call the same apg in script form okay form dot and you get all the option now we want to set the field out right so like set value so it takes two attributes the field name and the value which you want to set so i want to set urgency okay and the value for it it's one for high okay so i will save it out now i will reload the form so now if i select a subcategory as antivirus you can see the urgency got set to high okay so this is this is the second one okay the second use case now let's move to the third use case okay i will close this one i will duplicate this tab out and now we want to try on submit okay so what we'll do whenever we are creating when we are trying to update the incident with the short description cutting a value test then what we'll do we will abort the action okay we will not allow the user to save an incident with a short description test because it's invalid right again the same approach i will right click configure go to the client script i will create new now this time it will be demo on submit okay i will select the ui type as all now this time on submit okay now what i want to do so i will simply type if again the g form api the underscore form dot get we want to get the value right get value of description so whenever a description field has a value equal to equal to test okay i will give test one two three some dummy value then i want to throw an error message so i will again use in this form dot add in for message add error message this time okay it's not an info message now that this is not a valid incident right who wants to create a test instance right and i will simply return false so what return false does it's about the action on the client side okay so it's a mixed space tab so you can see over here format code okay it's done it was just a warning so i will save it out and now i will reload the form again okay so you can see the description over here now i will give the same value test one two three and let's see how it works now i try to update it out and 
it didn't update the incident okay and it gave the message this is not a valid incident okay if I re reload the form so you can see it didn't save any value okay you can see the description is still empty okay so these were the three use cases okay keep in mind that it's not important to focus on the scripting right now we'll get into exactly what we are doing later okay in later on in the section where we are discussing on the APIs for the purpose of this section okay I just want to cover the different locations you can apply script to so we'll definitely come back to the actual scripts that you will seeing here and we'll discuss what's going behind the scene okay and finally if we okay so that's all and hope you like the video okay stay with us okay see you next time thank you